Many of you are familiar with our guest today. His coin phrase is, if you want it done right, do it yourself. To his friends, he's Tyler. To a growing legion of his fans, he's DIY Tyler. So sit back, grab your favorite chair, and let's talk shop. Hi folks, I'm your host, Mark Purcell, and today I have with me DIY Tyler. That's me, yep. Thanks for being here, Tyler. Absolutely, I'm excited to be here. So for starters, uh, just tell the folks a little bit about yourself. So I am an engineer by day. I got three kids at home and a beautiful wife. Got to make sure I get that in here. Yes, you know? of yeah. course. Um, so this is a hobby that's turned into something a little bit more than that, just with the snowball effect of social media. So it's a busy life back home. Now on your website, you mentioned, and you kind of briefly mentioned there, that, that this has been a hobby turned necessity. Do you care to elaborate on that a little bit? Yep. So like you probably, I own a house mm -hmm. and it is not cheap mm -hmm. at all. And uh, so we bought a house that needed some fixing up and this kind of came about as my way of sharing what I did and what I was proud of. And, and then also furniture, you just can't buy stuff that's very good anymore. Mm -hmm. You know, flat box stuff, yep. it's not gonna cut it. Not with kids jumping on no. it, that's for sure. So how did you get your start and, and what really made you wanna take this from a hobby to, um, you know, I, I really feel like I wanna start um, posting some of my videos and some of my projects because maybe somebody else out there could benefit from, from what I know. Yep. So DIY Tyler started as a blog and that went for a short amount of time and I really just didn't enjoy it. It was too much work. I don't really enjoy writing, I'm an engineer. That's mm -hmm. not what we do. Um, so then when I, when I found the community on YouTube, I was like, hey, I can do that too. I could probably do it a little bit better. You know, most of the DIY videos are your vertical screen shaking all over the place. Yep. So I was like, hey, I can do a little bit better than that. And my first videos probably weren't better than that. But I would like to say we've improved a little bit from there and I thoroughly enjoy the process of producing the videos. So you have a lot of feedback, a lot of back and forth with, with your followers. Yeah, that is the, the biggest satisfaction of the whole thing is when someone reaches out to you with a question or with, hey, look, I built your thing, or even just check out what I made. Mm -hmm. that, that's cool, and that's what, that's what makes the effort that goes into this, which it is a lot of work, so worthwhile, absolutely. So how did you come up with the name uh, DIY Tyler? What made you want to keep it just simple? Well, I wanted it to be more than just the, the average. Mm -hmm. At some point, I knew I wanted to be a little bit more skilled. And so the, the thing I love that you do is you actually put precision in the DIY. Um, going on CAD, I believe, right? A yep. lot of pre projects, which is awesome because you're taking the guesswork out of the equation. They can actually go on, you know, they can watch your videos, they can download your plans and everything, and without a shadow of a doubt, they can know this is gonna be correct. Right, yeah, that's my inner engineer coming out there mm -hmm. needing to pre-plan that stuff in, in great detail, which is a blessing and a curse because it takes a lot of time, and sometimes I can't get over a certain little hurdle in a project, and it stops me from beginning it. And I've had to learn to get over that mm -hmm. so that I can start. And when I get to that part that is complicated that maybe I couldn't figure out in CAD, because it isn't, to, it's to scale, but it doesn't, and you can't feel it right. type of thing. So I need to get over that and sometimes get to those points to figure out little things. But, you know, as an engineer in today's day and age, that's why you do drawings, mm -hmm. to save you time, save you money, see the problems before you make a cut that's irreversible and maybe an expensive piece of walnut. So yeah, I design everything in CAD, even if it's a box. Mm -hmm. I still get my measurements out of that, so I know when I cut the other side of that box, it's not too short. Absolutely. So. What would you say is your favorite thing about woodworking? This is coming from an engineer's perspective, but for me, the designing something and then cutting it all and putting it together and it fits makes me happy inside. That, that makes everything tingle. That's what I enjoy most about mm -hmm. the process. Would you say um, the completion of it is more satisfying or when you're just in the thick of it is just more relaxing? Is it a stress lever? Wh which part of the project do you enjoy the most? i say a little bit of both. So I started this as a way to get away from the engineering work. Mm -hmm. So when I, before I started, I was thinking of different hobbies that I would like to do in the basement. And I was thinking electronics, I do that at work. I don't want to come home and do it again. So. Let's do this, and there was a need, which is why this came came about as well. But 
building that that's my relaxation that's that's where i let go of all the stresses of the day mm -hmm. is down there in the shop but also when you when you put the finish on that piece and it's done or months later i'll walk by something that i did I did that. That is so Give cool. Give yourself a little pat on the back. Yeah, you know, got to yeah. break your arms sometimes. It's, yeah, it's very gratifying. Yes, it's fantastic. That's awesome. Yeah. Is, is there really a range that you want to sit in of this is too easy or this is too hard, or are you just kind of going with the flow? More going with the flow, but I definitely want to not be in the too easy. Mm -hmm. I, I want it to be exciting for me as well. That shows through in the video. If I don't enjoy doing it, it's not going to do well. It's... I've seen the history in that. So mm -hmm. it's pretty crazy how that shows through. So I want to be beyond the super easy because I want to challenge myself and, and the followers. But uh, still, you can, you can do it. There's nothing too complicated. Mm -hmm. You've always got to break it down and then you, got, then you can get started on it. Have you ever run into a project that was just your kryptonite? There are some projects that I've done that are very frustrating. You, you're at a, a stuck point with some maybe just a miter that you can't get quite right and it's just grating at your mm -hmm. brain to try to fix it, step away. There's always tomorrow, right? Maybe do something else that's more fun. Clean the shop. Mm -hmm. How, I mean, how many of you guys go through and are sorting out screws, it's nice and quiet in the shop, and then it will hit you what maybe you were doing wrong, what you could do different to fix that. And you're absolutely right. And now that I'm getting a little older and I do projects, you're 100% right. You, you will step win. away, just tomorrow. Think about it, collect your thoughts for a minute. Absolutely. That's great advice. Um, what would you say is your favorite project that you've done thus far? I've done quite a few. Yes. To this day, I am impressed with the railing that I built. So when we bought the house, going up the stairs, there was no railing. We have kids, need a railing there. Mm -hmm. This is three years ago now, and I'll still be like, hey Bernie, I made that. <laughs> that thing is sweet. It's solid. Um, you know, kids run around. They come down the stairs, grab the railing, turn the corner. Yep. This is solid. It's solid. And uh, it turned out great. And this was, I didn't have a lot of tools back then. People say, oh, if I had all those tools, I could do that too. Uh -uh. It's just the technique you have on those tools. Maybe you need a jig to be able to use it a little bit better. Mm -hmm. But you can totally do it. Yeah, well, there's a will, tools. there's a way. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. So that's all the time we have, guys. Thank you so much. Special thanks to Tyler for being here. This was a lot of fun. Make sure you go check out his website at DIYTyler.com and his YouTube page at Tyler G. Until next time, that's Talk Shop.